Hey, this is for you, Diamond in the Rock. And um, China Mail, uh, and this is from Stitches to Stone. So this is part of my uh, homegrown custom. Uh, so this is the blank custom, and this is the drills that I had to order because I don't have them in my spares. Um, ordered on the 2nd of May, it's the 17th of May. So that's, well, just over two weeks. So there we go. So that's not bad at all. Stitches to Stones. Um, I did email them and ask them if they do packages where I can put an order through with my um, list of what's required. And they did say they do special ones for that. They will actually do a, a quote for that. Um, but because I didn't need all of them, I decided that I'd just order them anyway. Each bag is 20 cents. When I first started looking at doing this, they were only 18 cents a bag. Now they went up to 20 cents a bag in, while I was looking at them. <laughs> Nathan's home in the front room, so I'm risking this. <laughs> so this is for Bank Canvas Custom. My lioness and cup, which is actually probably only going to be that big now, so I won't need all the drills. Um, cost of the canvas, if I actually did purchase the canvas, well I did purchase this, um, the cost of canvas was $52.37, but they're sending out a second one, so the next, because I didn't do it size. However, the drills cost me $147.20, so this is Aussie dollar. So all up the cost, $199.57. And remembering that I already have drills and now I don't need as many drills and the canvas basically cost me nothing. So it's just, this is not a cheap way to do a diamond paint. This is more about the craft of diamond painting as opposed to just ordering something off the shelf, ordering something that, everybody else has a picture of. Um, it, this is definitely no copyright breach at all. Um, so this is the diamond painting true craft is going blank canvas, drills, pattern. That is the craft of diamond painting. It's not just, and I'm not being critical of anybody there, but this is probably the hardest way you can do a diamond painting. Um, and I will leave that there. Now this is in squares. Oh, where is it? Oh, I got it so this is stitches to stone, which is in the US, but you know, it is China Mail. Description diamond painting cross stitch one package. It's listed as sewing tools accessories, so I don't know whether they've put anything else in there, but it's listed as two items. All I asked for was drills. <laughs> I only asked for drills, and I actually got a toolkit in there with a well, stock standard tool kit with wax, drill, a drill pen, and tree placer. Okay. okay, so I've just stopped because I've got loose drills. Already I've got loose drills, so this is where my... Can... That's the one thing that I was worried about. Okie dokie. Hang on. been a while since I had to worry about that. Mind I haven't done many unboxings. So it's one, two, oh, three bags. I have three loose drills so far. At least being in three bags, 
I can turn around and identify where the loop drills up. Um, here's the printing for a sec. One with the inventory sheet. Inventory sheets, they've ticked them, they've all got ticks. This camera does not want it to. Um, and colour number. So these actually say colour number. Okay. So I'm going to. What? I might yep. I'm going to fast forward this process as I go through, look for split bags and all of that. Um, and get back to you as soon as that's done. Okay, so I didn't find any split bags, but I do have, it looks like just basically one colour, I've got a blue stray in there, um, but it looks like just one dark green. So now to work on ticking these off um, and see how we go. I will be ticking off from their inventory sheet and I will be ticking off my order sheet. So, be the inventory sheet and my order sheet. So, here we go. Okay, I've just realised that I have so many, I've got no room. So, I'm going to tick off the inventory sheet and put them away at the same time. So, this is going to be a long process. Uh, so bear with me while I work my way through. Um, you may have seen it, but this was my setup that I grabbed to do these. This is what I didn't forgot to mention. I have them. So I already have <laughs> been upside down, that's the problem. This is my from my spares, so this is what I'll be filling into. I will be checking my spare colours close to what I receive. Um, so that's where they're going to. I don't know if you just saw that, but I just had some in here already. I did a comparison because I had, I looked at how many I needed of that colour, uh, which is the 3823. I need 98. That colour and the colour that I had did weren't close, and this is a bag of 200. So I'm not going to mix and match when it's such a small quantity. I might have to do that with the bigger ones, but not with these ones. So back to. Um,
This one here is quite amusing. I put a request in, I ordered 13 of these. I've received 14 plus an empty. So, um, did they give me an extra to make up for the empty? But who knows? But that was just a funny thing. Um, I just had a one where I went looking and it wasn't in here and it was a 988. When I'd actually put it in the pile, I'd actually put it in the pile of 800s as an 886. Funny little quirky things. It's like you've got to look at it and go, oh, it's not here. Well, what other number could it look like? Turn looks turned upside down, 40 yet. 886. Right here. Okay, so I've just come across, I thought it was static drills, which is why I pulled out my dryer sheet. It wasn't static -y drills. I actually gained oily drills. So, how to combat oily drills. Not seen my little trick. It's not a large quantity. So, what I do is... I'll do that out. So I don't know which bag it was, but one of those bags had all your deals in it. And what that has then caused is any other ones that are in that with those bags that I just opened up, they now have oil on them. That oil goes right through. So I now have to empty the container. I didn't even see any oil. Might as well do the whole whole lot. Where's the scissors? Yeah, there, there, the whole lot in there. That must have been a bad batch. Every one of those bags has got oil in them. Okay. So this is how I deal with oily drills. I've, so I've put them on a dryer sheet. Not on a dryer sheet, a, um, baby wipe and I can get there and because I've got it on here if anything if anything comes out that's yeah, all good um, looks hella messy doesn't it I've done it before where it's only a small quantity and it's easy to handle within. I've shown it with a small quantity and it's easy to handle within. The, um, within the dryer wipe, um, dryer wipe, ha, ha, baby wipe. Right. 
by keeping them within this tray, it just makes it a little bit easier with this lid. Just makes it a little bit easier for those that. Okay. Dropped a couple. I have, because I've poured them into the tray, into the dish, there, there'll be oil on the inside of that. I want to wipe it out with both baby wipe and paper towel. And paper towel one will dry it out pretty quick. But the flip side of that is it may also, oh that I've got jewels everywhere. may also um, help absorb any of the oil and I think some of those are still oily yep they're still, I can still feel some oil this time I will make sure that I keep them within the um, baby wipe now. Just get, you can't see me, I'm just getting them off the edge of the tray. Okay. I'll keep them all within the baby wipe if I can. Doing that, I can feel. I can feel definitely feel that oil is still there. going to be clever with that. That didn't work. Oh well. Nine eight seven. I'm just looking at my numbers required. Oh that's one where that's actually a close call in number wise. So this is this is I may run out of this colour. But then because the picture is going to be so much narrower, this green I think is on the right side of the picture. Which means I probably don't need as many. Gosh damn it. Just gotta try and push and push my fingers down and pick them up that way. Hey, 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 hey. Nathan was home. <laughs> He's come out thankfully while I'm doing the time lapse stuff, burping and making all sorts of noises. He timed it well. But he only went out again a couple of minutes ago. Okay. So this time I'm going to try and keep these within. So I folded that a couple of times and I'm going to fold that a couple of times that way. And that one that way. And now just squeezing it through. This is the biggest quantity I've done like this. Okay, paper towel. So instead of like washing them in soapy water and having to worry about a tea strainer or however you do it and then having to 
leave them out to dry. This is this is a method that works for me because the paper towel the, the sorry the baby wipe doesn't do much in the way of leaving a lot of moisture in on them, but there is moisture. The paper towel then absorbs the last of it. But they are definitely a lot better. That oil is gone now. Okay, so that oil is gone. And actually, I'll put it into a tray. You can see how, the, how it's now freed up, freed it up. And then it will make it easy for me to pour in. So there you go, oil's gone, and that was seven bags. So that's what fourteen hundred seven bags is approximately fourteen hundred drills, and all nice, flowing, easy, and clean. So I did show it before, but. You know, you're actually seeing it straight in process while I'm halfway, well, partway through. So, back on to um, dropping things and speeding things up. So I found my split bag, the 895. I haven't counted them yet. So let's see how we go. Need 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I've got more than enough by the look of it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a so that looks like my split bag. I've got fifteen bags. Eight, nine, five. I'll have plenty. I need two thousand and fifty-five, which is ten bags. So this was you know some of them I did over order. Um, yeah. So there we go. Back on.
Okay, so everything's there. I have one lot of all the drills. Um, I have more. I don't have enough storage for all of these, so what I need to do is do some repos use some of my labels and reposition them. The labels I used were repositionable, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and um, hopefully this file will be less. Taking me four hours. I've now got all my colours, got three trays of colours. I have also marked the end point on the sheet so I know where my colours end for each tray. So that's one. One, hang up, that's that one. All right. Two. And three. So I have three tries of color. Still. And I'm now ready, net ready to uh, get stuck into um, my blank canvas. Hope you enjoy it. Um, from going forward, I won't talk. I'll I will only be recording time lapses for this one because there's no chance of me talk, talking. Um, I'll be doing two things, one is concentrating and the other is watching YouTubers. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.